God bless you, my beloved. Thank you for joining us today. We are Abundant Grace Church. I'm Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I'm the senior pastor of the church. For prayer or information concerning our ministry, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Our message title today is Rejoice in the Lord. I will be reading from Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. My beloved, the Christian has a compelling duty to rejoice. Paul stresses the Christian need to rejoice by using the tense in the Greek that specifies a continuing and habitual action. This instruction follows his mention of otherwise faithful believers in the church who were unfortunately pursuing disharmony and dissension. Believers are reminded to restore broken relationships, follow after harmony, and rejoice. Perhaps, my beloved, the best reason to rejoice is that all of our names are written in the book of life. This precious book was mentioned from old times as a book of remembrance, written before him for them that feared the Lord. You can read that in the book of Malachi, chapter 3 and verse 16. Christ mentioned this book as a cause to rejoice because your names were written in heaven. That's in Luke chapter 10 and verse 20. Our rejoicing will continue throughout eternity, for only they which are written in the Lamb's book of life will be able to rejoice. You can read that in the book of Revelation chapter 21 and verse 27. You see, as Christians, we will be permitted into the Lamb's presence because our names are written in the Lamb's book of life. Our love for the brethren and our hope for eternity are reasons to rejoice. Paul told the Philippian church they were among the reasons for his joy. In Philippians chapter 1 and verse 7, Paul wrote, I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my bonds and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. Ye are partakers of my grace. My beloved, those who had a heart for the things of God were important to the apostle Paul. Therefore, Paul wrote in Philippians 2 and 2, Fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. And he also wrote in Philippians chapter 2 and verse 18, For the same cause also do ye joy, and rejoice with me. So in summary, my beloved, their joy of fellowship was rooted in the love and service of Jesus Christ, as well as his sufferings. Paul wrote in Philippians chapter 3 and verse 10, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. So my beloved as a Christian, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let us pray. Father God, give us the joy of our salvation. Give us a heart, a mind, and a desire to rejoice in you, Father God, to praise you, to give you all honor, all glory, and all praise. Teach us how to rejoice in you, dear Lord, that we may continue to serve you with peace and joy all the days of our lives. Thank you, Father God, for this message and this time of prayer as we pray in the name of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, power, and majesty, now and forever. Amen. My beloved, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. God bless you and go with God.